hey what's up guys so in this video i want to talk about how you can actually back up and restore your samsung galaxy watches so galaxy watch 4 and watch active 4 are just around the corner they will be announced on 11th of august hopefully and i'm really hoping that we can actually transfer our data from previous galaxy watches running on tizen os to a new galaxy watch running on Wear os so it's time to back up your previous galaxy watches if you're planning on getting the new galaxy watch so for that we need to go into the Samsung Galaxy Wear app first and then scroll up and look for account and backup. Go in here and here you should be signed in to your Samsung account. Next thing to note here is that we have an auto backup option which is turned on in my case but if you haven't turned this on it's a very good time to turn this feature on. So if I tap on it you can see that it will back up my device automatically every 24 hours since the last backup and there are some conditions that it needs to meet as well so your phone should be connected to Wi-Fi your phone should have more than 30% battery the watch should have more than 15% battery and both screens are off only then and then will this auto backup your Galaxy watch but worry not you can also manually backup your Galaxy watch and for that all you have to do is look below it and here we have option backup data go in here and you'll just have to wait for a bit and then you can see what are the things that you want to back up from your galaxy watch now this also applies to all of the galaxy watches whether you have galaxy watch 3 or galaxy watch active 2 or the original galaxy watch you can do the same in all of them so here you can select whatever you want to back up so we have options for messages settings watch faces widgets quick settings apps alarms world clock reminder and Samsung health and at the top you can also see when was the last backup and in my case it was yesterday now once you're all backed up and you get a new Samsung Galaxy watch and you connect it to your phone you can come back in here and this time go in restore data now once you tap on it it will make you wait for a while but then it will show you everything that was backed up the last time on your last watch so here you can see everything that was backed up you can see the date and the watch that it was backed up from so in my case it's galaxy watch 3 obviously so here you can see uh, the things that were backed up messages settings watch faces widgets quick settings apps and samsung health so now all i can do is select or unselect these options whatever i want to restore on my new galaxy watch if you want to start fresh or you just want to have your messages or your settings uh, you know done for you on your new galaxy watch you can select them and unselect everything else if you want your watch faces to be downloaded automatically on your new watch you can select the watch faces option otherwise you can unselect everything else but once you're done deciding whatever you want to restore simply press restore and everything will be restored on your new watch just as it was on your last galaxy watch and then there is also an option to delete your backups if you want to do that so here you can see that i have backups from galaxy watch 3 galaxy watch active 2 and also from gear s3 now I can delete these backups if I want to. And finally, the last thing that I want to talk about here is this remote connection option, which is also very crucial and important if you're using Galaxy Watch. Now what this does is that it allows you to connect your Galaxy Watch with your phone over Wi-Fi. So even if you turn off the Bluetooth on your phone or on your watch, your watch and phone will stay in connection over Wi-Fi or over mobile data. So if I go in here, you can see here, that you can keep using the features below when your watch is remotely connected to your phone using Wi-Fi or mobile data. So the things that you can keep on using over Wi-Fi are notifications, messages, email and find my watch and find my phone. So that's about it from this video guys. It's very important that you back up your Galaxy watches even if you're not buying a new one it's good to have a backup of your device so that's about it from this video guys i hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new and i will see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye